Recently, this year in Polypix 2017, Mustang News rated Slow Donut Company as the number one place to grab late night food. While we donut lovers totally agree, we wondered what makes Sladoco really stand out? Well, quality is determined through the voice of the customer, or as we like to call it here in GRC 320, VOC. To determine Sladoco's VOC, we went into the store and asked the managers what people have been saying about their donuts. The managers noted that people expect their donuts to have an innovative taste and a unique aesthetic. So basically, the donuts need to be Instagram worthy. Slow Doco gets most of their feedback through surveys, suggestion boxes, and Yelp reviews. They've found that their customers typically describe their donuts as delicious, pretty, and, I quote, so cute. Sladoco meets the VOC by using tried and trusted ingredients to make consistent, fresh-tasting donuts that look great. Anything that doesn't meet the VOC isn't going to get that thumbs up from the customer. Smelly donut? Flies? <laughs> That's probably a health code violation and would constitute for Sladoco to throw it out. Along with these defects, they will throw out any donut that is broken, doesn't look good, or overall they deem unacceptable to sell. So, in order to figure out how their defects affect their business, we turn to our good friend, Duran. Duran came up with FOD, or Freedom of Deficiencies. In his terms, the least amount of defects equates to a higher quality product. And a product with less deficiencies results in higher customer satisfaction. To begin applying this ideology to Sladoco's business, we have to look at how many donuts they are throwing away versus how many they make. The managers told us on average they make about 3,225 donuts per day, and they only throw away 24 donuts. So now that we have the numbers, it's time for everyone's favorite, math time! The equation to find FOD is 1 minus the defects over the total opportunity. And since we had 24 donuts that were defective out of 3,225, that only constitutes for 0 0.0074. Subtract that from 1 and change it to a percentage, and we're looking at a 99.26% FOD. So, basically, Slidoco is selling almost 100% of the donuts that they make. At 99.26% freedom of deficiencies, they're throwing away less than 1% of their daily product. Sladoco is meeting their VOC with near-perfect accuracy, and customers don't have to deal with many defects. When Sladoco does throw away that tray of donuts, they lose money. But how much money are they actually losing? We can figure this out by listening to the all-knowing Crosby who came up with CTR. CTR, or Complete Transaction Rating, measures the amount of money made off a product. This includes defects, scraps, and rework. While we tried to get an accurate number from Sladoco, the general manager didn't know exactly how much it cost to make a donut because of the varying salaries and prices of donuts. After some research, we found that it costs on average 12 cents to produce one donut, and we applied this when calculating Sladoco's CTR. So, to calculate our CTR, we're first going to need to know our price of conformance and price of non-conformance for making a donut. To get our price of conformance, we're going to take that average 12 cents it costs to make a donut and multiply it by the 3,225 that Slodoco makes on a daily basis, and that comes out to $387. To get the price of non-conformance, that's assuming we're going to have double the amount to remake a donut, and that's 24 cents times the 24 donuts that are scrapped, and that comes out to $5.76. Now that we got our POC and PONC values, all we're going to have to do is take POC divided by POC plus PONC. And with that, we're going to get 0.98. Because of these defective donuts, Sladoco only makes 98 cents per dollar. Though it is ideal to sell 100% of what you make, only a 2% loss per dollar is incredibly profitable. What does a high FOD and a high CTR mean for Sladoco? Well, to start, they meet VOC with very minimal defects. This is great for their business. Their ability to consistently create quality donuts leads to loyal customers. And that's a ton of likes and follows they'll continue to maintain as long as they meet VOC.